Okay, seventh graders, I wanted to go ahead and go over the parts of the heart because this is kind of complicated and it's one that the pathway through the heart sometimes gets confusing and what parts have oxygenated blood and what parts have deoxygenated blood and why does it have to go through the heart? And the heart, is its main job is that it is a pump. Its whole job is just to circulate blood constantly in our body to keep our brain nourished with oxygenated blood to take away the carbon dioxide. But what system does this have to connect with? It has to connect with the respiratory system because its job is that it's got to pump the blood throughout the body, pick up the deoxygenated blood, carry it to the lungs, and then get rid of the carbon dioxide, pick up oxygen in the lungs, and bring it back to the heart and then through the rest of the body. So I kind of want to go through the different parts that show you the deoxygenated areas and the areas where the blood is oxygenated. So let's start off first. If you've got a pink copy or if you have the white copy of this, you, you might not see two little uh, branches that come out on the side over here and they do but this picture does not have it so I'm going to go ahead and sketch those in right there. So I want to label these parts so you'll know them and also color them so that you can kind of see where the deoxygenated blood. So we have these two big tubes that are going to start in on this side over here and these this one is the superior vena cava one right here and it brings blood from all of the upper part of the body the arms the head uh, our chest area and the deoxygenated blood goes in here so we're going to represent deoxygenated as the blue color whenever we look at it in the um, diagrams it's deoxygenated is generally uh, blue Okay, and then we have places where there's oxygenated blood. Let's go ahead and just make a little key here so we'll know that that is red, oxygenated, oxygenated. Okay, so superior vena cava is bringing deoxygenated blood from the upper part of the body. And this one is called the inferior vena cava. Vena is another word for vein, and cava means cavity. Uh, so we're talking about the cavity right here that the blood is being brought into. So these two, these blood is being brought in from the lower part of the body. The inferior vena cava brings it from the lower part of the body, the legs, the uh, abdomen, and takes the deoxygenated blood in through here, brings the blood in to this cave or this atrium right here. And this is called the right atrium. Now you may have just noticed that I called this the right atrium and it's on the left hand side of the picture. That is because we are looking at this as a mirror image, as if I am looking at it in someone else's body, as a doctor would look at someone else's body. So even though this is on the left-hand side of the page, this is still the right atrium in that person. So the blood coming in here is deoxygenated. It's out of oxygen. So its job is got to get to the... Um, to the lungs so that it can get rid of the carbon dioxide that this is carrying and it can pick up some oxygen and it goes through this little gate right here which is called a valve this is a valve and it goes through here and that gate is a one-way gate kind of like if you go to an amusement park or you go to uh, an airport and you go through the little gate that only goes in one direction so people can't turn around and go backwards if they're scared to get on the ride they have to keep going forward so this is a one-way gate this valve actually is called the tricuspid valve tricuspid tri means three 
And so it's a valve that has three little flaps on it that open and close, and it can only let it go in one direction. So then it goes down into this next chamber of the heart, which is called the right ventricle. I'm coloring it blue because the blood is, what? Deoxygenated. It's still out of oxygen because it hasn't had a chance to get to the lungs to go load up on oxygen again. So the blood goes into here. This muscle part of the heart is going to be squeezing and pumping the blood. Oops, there's another gate it's got to go through. And that little gate right there is going toward the lungs. A word for lungs is pulmonary. Um, pulmonary. So we call this one the pulmonary um, valve and it opens and closes in only one direction to keep the blood going forward in here and it goes into each goes toward each one of the lungs right there. It's still deoxygenated as it goes through that pulmonary valve right there. And so let's go ahead and color the screen. Uh, ooh, let's go ahead and color it blue. And that carries over to here because this one is going to go to the right lung. This one is going to the left lung. Let's put us a little mark out here that tells us that this is going to the lung. And this one is going to the lung as well. So it's going out. One of them is going to the uh, left lung and one's going to the right lung. This is called the pulmonary. P-U-L-M-O-N-A-R-Y. And this one is going away from the heart, away from the heart. So we call anything going away from the heart, these going away are called arteries. So it goes over to the lung. There's a lung over here, there's a lung over here, and it's going to go and drop off the carbon dioxide, pick up oxygen, and then it's going to 